from Russia with love. Hi folks, this is Alan and I'm back with another movie review, another James Bond movie review to be exact. Today I'm going to review the second James Bond movie from Russia with Love, starring Sean Connery, the first James Bond. From Russia with Love, from 1963. Well, the plot of this one is a little bit on the complicated side, so I'm going to run in the other direction and give you the extremely short, simple, basic thing that happens in in the plot of From Russia with Love, and that is uh, James Bond is looking after... A decoding device called a lector uh, with the aid of a beautiful Russian spy who has defected and that's the real simple version <laughs> of the plot uh, from Russia with love well from Russia with love terrific fabulous Bond film this is definitely one of the very best of the Bond movies as a matter of fact Sean Connery himself names from Russia with love as his all-time favorite Bond film that he ever did and why not it's an excellent choice sir Sean it's very well written directed, acted, put together, great action scenes, great characters. Um, it's a complete package, this Bond movie, even though there was still yet some more room for Bond to grow. I, th I think it still took them a couple more movies to get the Bond formula in place, but things are really coming together quite magnificently, beginning with From Russia With Love. Uh, From Russia With Love is the first Bond movie to introduce gadgets. Uh, Bond gets his first gadget, that would be the briefcase. Because in the previous movie, Dr. No, the only gadget, quote-unquote, that Bond had was his gun. He starts off with a Beretta, and then they exchange it for the classic Walther PPK. Um, but that was it. That was all Bond had in Dr. No. But here, in From Russia With Love, he gets the briefcase. The briefcase that uh, contains a hidden dagger, a hidden rifle, a tear gas canister... It's definitely a briefcase that every secret agent should have, and it's a classic gadget. And uh, yeah, from Russia with Love, the first Bond movie to introduce the gadgets. Sean Connery gives another great performance as 007. Cool, suave, brave, handsome. Uh, he's he's the definitive James Bond. Always has been, always will be. Even though I like all the other Bonds too, but Connery once again proving why he is indeed the definitive James Bond. He's he's great. He's great in this film. Uh, Daniela Bianche, I think, is a fine Bond girl. Don't really know if her performance could be called great. Um, in fact, her voice was overdubbed as well. But, you know, for what it is, I mean, she is very good and certainly very, very nice on the eyes. And uh, and I like her. I think, I think she's a fine Bond girl uh, for 007. Uh, Daniela Bianche. And I also have to mention uh, Pedro Amendares as Bond's contact in this film named Karam. Uh, great performance from Amendares, and I love the chemistry between him and Connery. They got great scenes together. It's so sad to know that Pedro Amendares was actually suffering from cancer uh, when he made this film. In fact, he was basically dying as, as he was making this movie, but you'd never guess it because, I mean, he looks like uh, he's in good health. He's moving around like he's in good health, and you know he's he's got his chin up and and uh, smiling and and giving just a just a great performance and going one on one with with Connery and the the two men have great chemistry in this film. They really really do. You'd never guess in a million years that Amandares was sick, and it's very sad to know that um, after he filmed his scenes for From Russia with Love. Um, you know, he went to get treatment, but of course by that time uh, the uh, the cancer had spread and Amandaras wound up uh, committing suicide in the hospital. Very sad, very tragic, but you know, Pedro Amandaras, marvelous performance in this film, and I'm glad that he survived long enough uh, to complete his performance uh, in From Russia with Love as, uh, as Bond's contact harem, because he really is wonderful uh, in this film. Uh, you also get great villains in From Russia with Love. Uh, the standout villains, of course, being Rosa Klebb, the uh, evil villainess with the spiked shoe, uh, played quite wonderfully by Lota Lenya, and also the big henchman, uh, strongman Grant, played by Robert Shaw, who was a very, very, uh, very powerful foe uh, for Bond uh, in this movie. And then later on, Bond and Grant have a spectacular fight scene on board the Orient Express train, uh, which is definitely one of the very best fight scenes in the whole Bond series, and also one of the very best fight scenes in the history of film. It's that good. And everything leading up to that fight scene, where it's just Bond and Grant just going back and forth in that enclosed space 
in that uh, cabin on board the train. Very well written scene, very well played by Connery and, and by uh, Shaw. And, uh, and then we get to the fight itself and spectacularly choreographed, tension filled. It's definitely a real nail biter. <laughs> no matter how many times I watch the fight scene on board the Orient it's Express train, I never get tired of it. Uh, it is so well done and definitely one of the highlights of the Bond series. Uh, no question about it. Also, great other great scenes, including the uh, the action scene that takes place at the gypsy camp, including a couple of gypsy women uh, getting into a little skirmish with each other. Uh, that was uh, that was very well done. It's got a lot going for it. Um, oh, of course, the, uh, the the boat chase, the boat chase where Bond has to ignite the flares pff, to get the bad guys off his back as he's uh, boating through the water. Yeah, that's very well done. It's just a complete package, and I also appreciate the direction of Terrence Young and. And um, it definitely stands out as one of the best Bond films because it's just so well put together. It's a very complete 007 package. I mean, you got the great acting, direction, the writing, editing, uh, great action scenes everywhere you look. It's very well put together all the way through. And it does stand tall as uh, one of the best Bond films. There's no question about it. It's got a whole ton of great stuff in it. And it's just a great adventure, a great adventure from start to finish for 007 from Russia with Love. So that's it from me uh, for this James Bond review. And of course, next time I'll be back with the third James Bond movie, Goldfinger. Yep, I'll be reviewing Goldfinger next time on James Bond movie review. But until then, this is Alan. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.